Hello and welcome to episode 47 of the Shower Party Podcast. I'm Liam Salvage. Woo, 47. Uh, I, I'm Brandon. Hey, 47. It's good to be 47, am I right? Yep. No, nobody <laughs> likes you when you're 20, 47. Yep. <laughs> oh, I love Taylor Swift. I had a little, uh, speaking of age, I had a little bit of a, a run in with the medical. Got a little scared. Yeah, you had a little medical issue. Me- you me- did? Not necessarily an issue, but it was a little. I was a little scaredy cat. Yeah, uh, you had a medical complication. Complication, you might say. Okay. Um, I'm afraid of getting tetanus and rabies. Okay. Deathly afraid. Why? So afraid that I might die. Uh, oh, 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 you might die before they get you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was like, I, I got a little cut on my arm. And I didn't know where it came from. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, what if I, I rubbed up against some rust? Right. And then I didn't know, and I got some tetanus. And then the next day, I went back to the place where I thought I maybe cut myself and looked for the rust, and there was none. So thankfully, we're yeah. hopefully in the clear. We'll come out in the next couple of weeks if I get a stiff neck and get paralyzed and then uh, inevitably die. It was because of tetanus. Yeah. So, so are you going to tell me that this was like a, a completely like normal reaction? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. You, you should be afraid. You think that was like a like completely called for? Yes, right there. Imagine one day okay. you get a stiff neck. Yeah. You're like that's weird. That See, I, I was not aware of the whole like stiff neck. Yes. you're paralyzed and then you die. Yes, here's the. And it's, you can't stop it. Apparently, imagine this. Okay, you're yeah. walking around one day. Uh huh. You get a little stiff neck. You wake up with it. You're just like, oh, I just like slip on my neck weird, right? Yeah, I j- I'm just a little stiff. I'm getting old, you know. The next day Maybe. it's even worse. Uh huh. The day after that, yeah. paralyzed. You can't move. Okay. Uh, like, what if I go to the doctor though? What, You're what dead if I go no matter there? what. They cannot. Once you have the symptoms, they uh-huh. cannot reverse it. Okay. It's like a ninety-nine percent death rate. So why aren't more people afraid of tetanus? You should be. Like, like I'm confused on like where are all the tetanus uh, deaths? Because usually, if you get cut by rust, you immediately go to the hospital and get a tetanus shot. But I personally haven't gotten a preventative tetanus shot in maybe twenty-three years. <laughs> Yeah, wait, you haven't had one? I don't think I've ever gotten a tetanus shot, to be honest. You've never had a single one. Which, me being deathly afraid of tetanus, I should be getting them, but I just... I think uh, you, you would be putting <laughs> it in your calendar every few years you're going yeah, to get one. You're sh- doubling up if you can. You're asking the doctor for like a little extra on the side, maybe, you know? Fuck the COVID vaccine. I need tetanus shots yearly. G- give me the tetanus booster every couple months. Yeah. There was a, a whole month where I thought I was going to die of tetanus, and I was just waiting for it. Yeah. Didn't get a shot. I was just like, it's coming. It's, it's going to happen. Yeah, but why don't you go get the shot, you know? That's, um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I figured like, <laughs> like, you tell me, all right, so it, if you already, like, if you have the symptoms, like, you're done for, you know? That's yeah. what you're telling me. And then you're like, I have tetanus. <laughs> and then I didn't do anything And you didn't about have it. the symptoms. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like, yeah, it. yeah, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not going to the... To the doctors for that. Why would you get the shot at that point, right? Yeah, I figured I'm cut. I'm dead anyway. There's no point. I was dumb. I'm the one that got cut by rust. I'm pro- I'm the dumb one. I deserve you know, this. <laughs> that yeah, that's on you. Actually, that's <laughs> yeah. on you. Tetanus wins that one. Yeah, I kind of want to see how many tetanus deaths per year do we have that here in the, in the U.S. Um, U.S. would be the question because I feel like in other countries they have a lot more. Tetanus? <laughs> Should I be saying tet tetanus? It's it's spelled tetanus? like that, but you just say tetanus. Tet uh, tet anus. Tet anus. Yes. Okay. I wonder. I actually don't. I only know the symptoms. I don't know how the actual rates. The, the death rate is very high, but. Okay, so there were two deaths that were reported. That's pretty. <laughs> that's in, a lot less than I expected to be honest. In 2017, a, a total of 33. Tet anus cases and two deaths were reported. So they get the other ones got in there <clears throat> early. I don't know. Maybe they went in there with the symptoms, and uh, the doctor said, "Yeah, we can treat that easy." Damn. You ever I think about that one? You think about that? I thought it was like a ninety-nine percent death rate. Maybe I'm confusing rabies. I'm also afraid of rabies. Maybe yeah. I'm confusing the death rates of rabies. And those are the symptoms you get well, a prick in your neck. But well, I do know rabies is you're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Once I know you that get one for sure. You're done. But I, I feel like it's pretty easy to tell when you're gonna get rabies. Like that one's a lot clearer. Like and they start foaming <laughs> at the mouth. <laughs> well, well, yeah. You get bitten by an animal that's like well. Sometimes they hide it. Coked out of their mouth. You know. Sometimes well, the animals get, are like. If I, I get bit by it. a like any animal that's like wild, I'm probably yeah. gonna be like, yeah, I should check. You know, some animals are like dudes that are they have herpes, but they don't want to tell you because they don't have a current outbreak that they know of. Yeah, so they're like, no, yeah. I don't have it, and then they bite no, you, I'm and they're like, I fucking have it. <laughs> you should get checked. <laughs> oh, I fuck. Oh, I got yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I I feel like with the with like a rusty nail, it's not gonna it's not gonna tell you that it has tetanus. You know. <laughs> <laughs> 
the animal's gonna be like i fucking have rabies <laughs> but but the rusty nail is just gonna kind of be there right yeah you know that one is more on you yeah i feel like it is man i feel like it is i uh I, rabies makes you hydrophobic okay i don't know about you but i'll stick with homo oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too dude i love homos <laughs> wait phobic <laughs> yeah i'm scared of them. being scared oh. of water would be pretty funny you just like you take a drink and then you have to hold your other hands holding back the one hand be like no don't <laughs> What, what is this a jackal and hide <laughs> it's you're a, fighting yourself he's like, like evil dead oh, fuck evil dead where his hand is like comes to like satanic hand and tries uh, that, to kill him that's a thing yeah i think it's evil dead is the movie i i haven't seen evil dead so yeah. i wouldn't know it's uh i forget this fucking name but yes uh jonathan <laughs> yep i think that's it okay yeah, yeah good you guy. got that one um I, I feel like that's a bad way to go right there is um <laughs> killing yourself <laughs> Yeah, and tetanus, probably. And tetanus. I just want to raise awareness. If we can Honestly, all, as a community, all of us go and get our tetanus shots in the next couple of days, I think if you if you send me a picture of you getting a tetanus shot, it'd make me feel better of also mm -hmm. going to get one. Okay, yeah, yeah. You need a little bit of support on that one. I get you there. Maybe I don't um, want to get a tetanus shot because I don't want to go in and they're like, did you get cut by rust? And I'm like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you need this? Like, I, why are you here? <laughs> in my head, I did. <laughs> But I might. I did might have. Did you think that I might cut myself on rust? <laughs> <laughs> do I look like I would do that? Because <laughs> I feel like I would. I barely work with any rusty metal. <laughs> like, I'm rarely around it. But I don't think I've seen rust in the past 20 years. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I believe I saw some. I saw an orange rock of some sorts. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been rust. You can't tell me it wasn't. Can you get it from drinking rusty water? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Can, that you? actually is a good question. Why would you drink? Why would you drink rusty water? You ever been to Yellow Springs, Ohio? No. It should be called Orange Springs because the oh. water's orange and oh. rusty. Oh, oh, hey, That's all I'm oh. Saying. hey, good one. Rename that place right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. I don't like tetanus. Yeah, I'm staying away from it if I can. For if you had sure. to pick between rabies and tetanus, which would you pick? Hydrophobia or just like, oh, my neck hurts. <laughs> Well, dead. well, I know for sure that I'm dead with rabies. Yeah. Um, taking your word for for tet anus, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I might have a chance. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm going with the rust. That's fair. Can I get a preventative rabies shot? Maybe. No. Well, well I, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say no <laughs> because maybe you can't. I'm, I'm fucking <laughs> stupid. I don't know. You know yeah. what do I know, man? I'm just gonna start doing every preventative. I'm just gonna start taking like chemotherapy. I'm just like I probably have it. I might as well just start. Not, now. not preemptive chemo. <laughs> I'm just be like I'm probably have it right now. Let's just start the chemo. Um, <laughs> Don't even get the scans done. No, <laughs> just go for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a tetanus shot, rabies shot. Just get the whole panel done. Okay, yeah. I feel like the doctors are gonna love you. <laughs> You're gonna be blowing a lot of cash. Dialysis. Way. Put me on dialysis too. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dialysis. Get in there. Get it in there. Because <clears throat> the insurance wouldn't even cover it at that point. They'd be like, "This isn't you don't have it. I don't don't you say what I have. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me what I may or may not have. It's in the future that I'm gonna have it. This you is just my don't head. Know yet. <laughs> I know my body better than anybody else. <laughs> I live in it, so <laughs> I know my body better than these doctors. How are they gonna help? Huh? <laughs> Had a dry mouth well, for the past couple of days. I've probably have rabies, even though I've not seen an animal in the past two months. <laughs> have you tried drinking water? I have, yeah. I'm dehydrated because I got drunk over the weekend on Bud Light. Like, <gasps> I, I lost my penis. What? I can't find my penis anymore. What? Have you heard? Dude. Bud Light's you gay. You can't be drinking Bud Light. You're going to lose your penis. I should. I'm Guys, I'll, if, you're, if you're out there, please do not drink Bud Light. You're going to lose your penis. You're going to lose it. I misplaced it. I don't know where I put it. I was drinking, got too drunk on Bud Light. So, and wait, was it the Bud Light that, that took your penis off, or I did mean, you take <laughs> it off and you misplaced it? Bud Light's like the key to make your penis detachable. You can just... It's okay. like a suction a cup dildo at that point. You just pop that bad boy off, put it on the shower Which, wall, and just fuck yourself. I feel like this is an ad for Bud Light right <laughs> that, now. That would be pretty good. I feel like this is, this is working in their favor. <laughs> if I could come inside my own ass. Oh, God. <laughs> The the balls come off too. Oh, that's a good question. I feel like they'd have to because then it kind of, they're kind of attached at the bottom. Well, I mean, they came off for you. You tell me. Yeah, you have those two little strings that come up. You know what I mean? Yeah, off the balls into the shaft a little bit. Yeah. So I think you have to get them both going. The little strings. I'm familiar with the yeah, strings. Yeah, the tubes yeah. that have the the cum and the piss. <laughs> well, I'm familiar with the yarn in my nutsack. The piss goes from the bladder to the balls to the penis. Huh? 
<laughs> it's like no, the circle what, of what life. Do you mean? Uh, <laughs> Pee is stored in the balls. Yeah, yeah, but it, it starts in the bladder, goes to the mm-hmm. balls, then goes to the... No, it's the made neck. in there. <laughs> it's made in the balls, dude. It's not even water. It's just cum that's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and watered down? It isn't all cum it, Is watered down for so... No. <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> no, I have pretty white I don't, bleachy I'm, cum. I don't think you have tetanus, but you got something. No, I'm pretty I got, sure. I have pretty white bleachy cum. Okay, don't why you, why do you have to say bleachy about it? Like that's it's very bleachy. I don't. You could just say it's, it's pure. It's very white. It's pure. It's not pure. It's I wouldn't pure. say that by any means. It's pure. <laughs> okay. All right, man. All right. I got a haircut. Um, I was going for the the gay Freddie so, Mercury oh, look. Were you were you just done with the whole Bud Light segment? Oh, would we, I was just saying I was going for the gay Freddie Mercury look. But but we're just past about that. You were just gonna bring that up. No. You, detachable penis. I was just you know the Freddie Mercury look. You know oh, you're supposed to say Freddie Mercury was already was already gay. Uh, uh, he was he was already gay. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but he did. I don't think his penis was detachable, so he had to find some other guys for that. Imagine if you had you a know? detachable pussy. You'd be like, some guy's like, hey, do you want to have sex? And they're like, no. But here, you can have it for a little bit. (laughs) That's just, that's that's fucking rank. (laughs) It's just an easy way to get it. Like, uh, my boyfriend's nagging me all the time about having no sex. Here, just take my pussy. (laughs) I'm going to take a bath now. (laughs) Wash it before you give it back. (laughs) (laughs) My boyfriend's always giving my pussy back dirty. I can't believe this guy. <laughs> it's a new I definition of a him. homie hopper. Your boyfriend's just hanging, handing out your pussy to all his <laughs> homies. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the future we're moving towards. This is the future that liberals want. <laughs> it's detachable pussy. Free pussy. <laughs> Back in my day, we had to pay for pussy. Like everybody else. Yeah, honestly though, I feel like that would make sex work a lot easier. Because oh, then yeah. you can just drop it off and work another job. 100%. You know? Like, that's that's easy money right there. I'd do it. I mean, you can detach your pussy, could. and it can go out and make some money while your mouth's doing some other work. Like what? Talking. Okay, yeah. <laughs> talking yeah. on a yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking. Talking on a podcast. <laughs> you said other work. I, I just wasn't sure. <laughs> I mean, you could do a lot of work I with don't your know. mouth. There's nothing sexual a mouth can do. Uh, this is so true. Actually, the mouth is such a sacred place, you know, <laughs> because that's where, uh, like, all my ideas and my worries, you yeah, know. they come out of there. They come out of my mouth. So, I mean, if I, le- if I ever let anybody in my mouth, you know, <laughs> 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 that's a really sacred bond right there. That is, so, yeah. <laughs> you <know. laughs> so, do you trust me? Nope. Do you, do you sacred bond me? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't think so. Don't think so, Freddie. Put me in your mouth. <laughs> what happened? What What happened after this haircut? Huh? What do you mean? Now you're acting like this. I'm a little, I got the gay Freddie Mercury vibe. <laughs> <laughs> you got the gay Freddie Mercury. I, I even shaved my chin so that I could have the mustache. Yeah, it's it's really good. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I was get, get sweaty today, so I don't no, have like, the no, stuff back. It's just kind of floofy. But. No, really, like I, r- the mustache is really good, dude. Thank you. It I, looks so good. <laughs> I was brought on stage. Uh, a guy brought me up. as like, he's got a killer mustache. And then I was up there and I was like, what the fuck did you just do to me? <laughs> I look at my mustache. I don't have a good mustache. <laughs> and then he, afterward, he was like, yeah, I kind of remembered you having a better mustache than you have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was he was really just, he was digging on you, you know? Yeah. Like, what's, what, what's up with that? I think he, he genuinely meant it. He genuinely thought I had a better mustache than what he remembered. But that's the fucked up part, is he thought yeah. it was better than it was, and then afterwards he's like, man, I'm sorry I said your mustache <laughs> was really good. Like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> no, but at least uh, at least I give off the impression I have a good mustache. Like, people uh, leave, yeah. and then they forget about my face, and then they're like, he had a good mustache, didn't he? I, I liked his mustache. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was killer. The guy said I it was a killer the, mustache. It was a nice one. Yeah, I give off the vibe of a good mustache. Honestly, that's more important than the, the the actual mustache right there, you know? Yeah, I agree. You know, it's like if I give off the impression that I'm smart, like that's better <laughs> than actually being smart. I use a couple synonyms here and there, and then people are like, oh, right. he's, he's not bad. Um, <laughs> like I don't use a ton when I'm cooking, but sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Gay Freddy... Uh, Bud Light. He was that gay? That was your weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. 
So that's yeah, that's a good weekend for you, right there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, throwing the old yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Um, it's funny because he was, because he was. Yeah, he was sick. He was sick. <laughs> you know what he had? Tetanus. <laughs> yeah. He did have something in his anus. Yeah. <laughs> he, had, he had tetanus from all that old cock. <laughs> a little rusty. It wasn't moving so great. <laughs> he's he's patient in zero. He just threw his cock over to a bunch of people, and they're like, oh. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, did you get taller, man? No, no, I'm same height. Hey, you just you look taller. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you're looking good today. You know that? No, oh, thank you. You get more handsome. Where's this going? Did you get more handsome? Maybe. I don't know. You just look more handsome. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to bring some good vibes in for you. Okay. You know, you seemed a little down from the tetanus, so no, I'm thought fine. I'd give you a little a little pick Brandon. me up. This is a constant struggle. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you a little something, you know, some good energy, right? <laughs> it's a good day when tetanus is the w- w- least of my worries. <laughs> well, yeah, that's fair. Usually, um, it's AIDS. <laughs> did your did your dick get a little bit bigger? Uh, I haven't, it looks I'm, a little bit bigger. I'm having a bad hang day, to be honest. It's, Are you? It's a little small today. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, I thought it looked big. <laughs> 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 you give off the impression that you've got a big penis, so <laughs> I think that that counts for something, you know. Um, so, uh, so my friends, I got a couple of friends that are they're getting married in September. You mm-hmm. know, still trying to work out uh, what exactly I'm going to do to ruin their day. What's the gender? You know, um, well, it's two women. Okay, two women are getting married, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so they, yeah. How how do I ruin that? Right? The things you to know? yell out or things to do things to do i feel like the the getting way too drunk is it's it's too basic that's that's overplayed Overplayed. there's always gonna be one other guy that's doing that already or girl work party is where you get too drunk because no one really wants to do that right yeah yeah. so you have to be the sacrificial lamb and i feel like you set a precedent after that and other people (sighs) are probably gonna go a little bit harder with you next time maybe Mm -hmm. you know we can fuck a bride um i don't think that's gonna happen (laughs) probably not do you want to go it's the nuclear option well, not you really. Go in there with a big dick, just hanging out, and being like, "You want, you want one last row, go with the rodeo." <laughs> I don't, I don't think they would. Either one of them would be attracted to that. Yeah, so I'm gonna, throw, I'm, gonna I'm just gonna throw that <laughs> you out. Can there, you can know? try. Honestly, that might throw a wrench in the whole day. Anyway, they're like, "You guys, you know, we're gay, right?" <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> what? You're gay. What? <laughs> I thought this was for the tax benefits. Here's a question: Do they have best men? Um. I don't know. I don't know what they're what they're calling their bridal party, right? Yeah, I'm in it, but I'm not. Oh. I'm not the best man, or well, of course, you're um, gonna be th- throwing a wrench in their gears. Or I, I'm not the man of honor. Yeah, either, yeah you know, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a that's a good one right there. That's man of one. honor. You know, that's all men, to be honest. You know, just honorable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you're a chivalrous chivalrous man, you're a man of honor. Yeah, I think so. Um, like that accounts for almost any man, except for um ones that have tetanus. Yeah, <laughs> that's dying of pussy's death. <laughs> <laughs> what you can't take a little bit of rust, motherfucker. All right, all right get off the tetanus, man. Uh, what am I doing over here? Quit it with the tetanus. The tetanus. <laughs> Quit it with the tetanus, man. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm thinking like, <sighs> you can DJ it. I could DJ. Kick it. the DJ out from his booth. That would be nice. You guys ready to throw down? Chicken dance time. <laughs> <laughs> that that would unironically go kind of hard. <laughs> People might like the chicken dance. You get on the table yeah. and you start chicken dancing. I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. It is the chicken dance. Yeah, is it, the it, chicken doesn't want to be a chicken? How, how's the song go? I don't know, but I don't think it's I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a chicken. <laughs> you are a chicken. You want to be a chicken. Otherwise, it's, it's kind of sad if he's saying, I don't want to be a chicken. What, I don't uh, Pull up the song right now. I don't know. I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a duck. I don't want to be a, a Wiccan. I don't want to be a uh, duck. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. Ch- how many people do you think mm-hmm. look up the chicken dance lyrics? Um, probably a couple. It's okay. got to be more than one for sure. Uh, I don't want to. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. You were right. That's this yeah. is an existential song. Yeah. I don't want to be a chicken. I don't want to be a duck. So I wiggle my butt. Quack 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 quack. That's what I'm saying. What? Did chicken say quack? No. Did chicken say quack? No. What is it? What they says don't. quack? A duck, a duck says quack. And he also doesn't want to be a duck. This guy is all over They're the place. They're all over, man. What, what the fuck is, is happening? Is he a separate bird? Yeah, I, I don't know. 
It's just a different bird. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a chicken. He's this this bird, a blue jay, probably is racist. Well, yeah. He's I like, mean, I don't like the, I don't like fucking chickens. I don't want to be a duck. We all know. And this is how duck jay. sounds like. Am I right? He's a, yeah, those fucking ducks. Quack, yeah, quack, 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 quack. You quack, know how quack, they quack. are. Fuck them ducks, bro. <laughs> It would be a blue jay, though. That's oh, yeah. very accurate. Oh, know? yeah. They're, they're very prominent. They're proud. Mm-hmm. They got their chests up. They're, they're a large-breasted bird. Large-breasted, for sure. Just up there being like, oh, well, look at that mm-hmm. fucking duck over there. I bet he's, oh, I bet he's killed and drug dealer. And <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> I feel like a vulture would just... The vultures are like the uh, like mass shooting oh. type bird. I feel like vultures just have a lot of hate in their heart, you know? I feel like they've been represented in, like, children's movies as Jews, though. Like, name one. What's that one with <laughs> the vultures? <laughs> name, name one. The Lion King? Are they in The Lion King? Uh, no, they're... Okay, well, I mean, there are probably vultures in The Lion King, but, like, they're not... They're not, like, speaking animals at any point, I don't think. The hyenas are the ones that are, like... They have Scar do the random, like like... The, uh, they do the Nazi walk or whatever in the song, <laughs> like for whatever reason. Like that oh, was okay. pretty fucked then up. Then they're German, but yeah, in yeah, another yeah. movie, I distinctly remember it being like a very evil bird, the vulture, and like lightning striking behind them as if he's controlling the weather. <laughs> and that's that from from that. That's where you were like, man, they're this, representing them as Jews. Yeah, what the hell is this? Is it, this is like? I think that's on you more than anything <laughs> else. You're just naming bad qualities to <laughs> yeah. a villain. <laughs> and you're like, that's got to be a Jew. <laughs> that's what anti-racism is. It's just being like, they gave that thing a nose. And it's greedy. That must be a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Come oh on, God. you guys can't do that. <laughs> those, those goblins run the bank and they have weird noses. They must be depicted as Jewish. This okay. is racist. <laughs> okay, they did kind of... Harry Says Potter kind of did that. That's your... They kind of did that's that. That's your idea of being a Jew placed onto uh, Wait, okay. something else. Do you, do you remember, what's the Asian yes, character in Harry Potter? Uh, Mar- uh, her name's Cho Chang. Cho Chang. <laughs> Cho Chang. It's the one Asian character in the goddamn book. You don't, they, someone. And it's Cho Chang? Harry Are you Potter kidding me? could have been Asian. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? They can be named what's whatever the, they want to be named. <laughs> hold on, there's also like one black dude in Harry Potter. Seamus? No, 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 she, uh, they turned one guy black in the middle of the movies. What? I feel like I, I, I feel like I would have noticed that. Do they, do, it'd be funny if J.K. Rowling was just like Jamal. You mean Jamal? <laughs> <laughs> Jamal. Yeah, you mean Jamal. You mean my, um, my black character that I love, Jamal. Okay, well, there's Blaze Zabini, which is a black. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. There's Lee Jordan. Yeah, you know they are smoking. <laughs> yeah, the, there's Blaze. There's Blaze up. <laughs> Lee Jordan. You know, a famous basketball player last name. Okay. It's Michael Jordan's kid is in there. Angela Johnson. <laughs> That's not. That one's not bad, actually. That's just a white name. And there's Dean. Actually, it's a black last name. There's but. Dean Thomas. I don't know about Dean Thomas. That one, that one feels fine. I had a I buddy think. bring up to me the other week that he was like, black people have cool first names, white uh-huh. people have cool last names. Yeah. Uh, do you agree with that? You think that's true? I think so. Especially if you go into like the Eastern European last names, you get a little mm-hmm. bit fancier. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Then, like uh, he was saying, like black people they have names like Johnson and White. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel I feel like back in grade school I laughed about that. Oh, you know. Yeah. yeah there, there was a black family yeah. with the last name White. Or Jackson. I, like, <laughs> I said, oh, that doesn't add up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Golly, man. Uh. So so what's like the coolest last name you've ever heard? You think? <clears throat> well, like. French last names are pretty cool, mm-hmm. like just the way they say them. I think that I, don't, I think they're pretty close to English, like American last names, but they're like they put a little je ne sais quoi on it. <laughs> je ne sais quoi, yeah, yeah. I uh, that one. Like Russian last names, they're mm-hmm. like strong. Tarchevsky, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. anything goes with like a ski. And the ski, the a, skis go hard. Has they a do. K or a, an X or a V in it. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that's when it starts getting hard. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like uh, Switzerland, where they have like the the sun at the end, and it would be cool to be named like. Do they have? Uh, they have a lot of sun at the name. Like well, in like a uh, Iceland. You're talking like Thompson, like Williamson, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In uh, in Iceland, you're named after your father. So mm-hmm. like, if your dad's name was uh, was William. John, you'd be Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're son of, son of John. Okay, yeah. I get you. I get you. Um, that's kind of that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Actually, I like that. I like it because it places more emphasis on the man, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably my favorite part. Because if you, you had a daughter, it'd be John Daughter. It would be her name. 
What what is the daughter's last name? It's uh, d- uh wait. It, no, this is the first name. The first name is is Oh wait, that is the last name. The last name becomes like cuz like the know, first name becomes the last name. And yes. It's blank son. So if you have John. So it's the daughter. He's the dad. It's yeah. Doter, D O T I R. Oh, is it really? Yeah, yeah. So it'd be John Doter. Yeah, but it's, I think that it's one's daughter. fucking stupid, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Doter, John Doter. <laughs> Doter, Doter, Doter. Doter, I hardly know her. <laughs> um, yeah, th- th- those go hard. I feel like uh, Russians got to Russians got to take the cake for uh, best last names there. Shortsky. Putin's like, a, st- a dumb one. That's like the only dumb Russian last name I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Putin it uh, put in my asshole. But mm. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say but. Um, yeah, our I feel like our last names suck though. No, I have like a pretty unique you? last name. No, yours sucks. I like it because you can Google my name, and I'm the only one that pops up for a while, and there's two other in England. There's only three of us in the world. Nah, your name sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you, you Google mine's, you on... Mine's pretty popular. Google you, and it's just a bunch of black football players. <laughs> yeah, I do have a lot of... There's a lot of black athletes that pop up yeah. for me. I don't know if that's because uh, like Sanders is just like a... Brandon a common, also. Like, yeah, I don't you know how common... You have a very black name. I don't know how common Sanders is, just as a last name. I feel like it pretty is. common. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But Brandon's so. also a popular black name. Why do you say it's a popular black name? I've o- Honestly, you're one of the only brand- white Brandons I've ever met. Really? Yeah. Most of them have been black. I don't know many Brandons. Mm. Maybe that's the issue. You don't know a lot of black people. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> all, all right, pal. All right. <laughs> I did know one white Brandon. Who? It was back in grade oh, school. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. You know, you know. Um, in uh, other than school, because we went to oh. when we went to school, it was mostly white Brandons. But outside of school, it's been mostly black Brandons I've met. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just I I feel like Brandon is an uncommon name, even though it probably isn't, just because I haven't met a ton of them. You know? Yeah. Uh, um, dude, I just had like you ever have a one of those moments where like you just get a little like ringing in your ear out of nowhere? Yeah. Like maybe like a tight neck, maybe it's a little stiff or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, ju- I just that? got one of those, dude. Oh, yeah? Know. Yeah. Have you been to your Rust recently? No. Oh, okay. Maybe you should get a tennis shot. I don't play that game much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I was, uh, speaking of being old, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was thinking the other day how funny it is, how old people dress. I've really been noticing this recently. Okay. Because once you get, like, a soft, frail, shitty body, mm-hmm. you really just start boxing it out to make it appear bigger and not as frail. Yeah, that's yeah, when yeah. you start like putting on the polos and the dress shirts because it kind of boxes you out, right? And you appear bigger. It's like a, you're like you're peacocking at an yeah, old age. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're just trying to maintain what you used to have, you know? Yeah, yeah. You won't accept that it's not there. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. But you don't do anything about it. You just put on a boxy shirt that makes you like it. Just it doesn't even look like you're big. It just kind of like floats in front of you. Yeah, like it's yeah, yeah. they use enough starch when they're ironing their shirts that it just stands out in front of them. <laughs> they use enough starch <laughs> yeah. in their shirts. They got starch water. Yeah, is that what you're telling me? No, they're, they're using you, starch water. You starch something if you want it to be like stay stiff when you, you iron it. You starch something. So they starch it. Uh huh. And it just like stays out in front of them and they're boxed out. <laughs> you see, you see a lot of old people doing this. I do. Yeah. Do you? I feel I, like I do see a lot of. Um, when's the last time you saw an old person wear a t-shirt? Just a plain T-shirt, not family members that you've seen like go to bed, but like Man, in public. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I do see a lot of. Um, I don't know. I feel like you get a lot of like uh, sweater vests or sweaters. Yeah, which boxes jackets, you out. Uh, it's like, thick. Yeah, hoodies even. Like like they do a lot just to cover up yeah. anything. No can. T-shirts. <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna rock it and be gross. <laughs> you know, I'll just, just show, show all shoulder. The gross I can. <laughs> I'll just be wearing like a like a wife beater to restaurants, yeah. dude. That's you know? actually the way to go because you're gonna die young if you're wearing a wife beater in public. Yeah, just die young, <laughs> showing shoulder. Just fucking yeah. You see that shit? I'm gonna yeah, die in twenty years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, dude, you I, wanna start wearing wife beaters? No, not really. I'm down for this. <laughs> I, I don't really. That'd be a tough look. I meant like when when I'm older. I was no, I meant right now. <laughs> I mean, I could. That's a tough look. Uh, What's the okay? We'll wear like ripped jeans, a wife beater. Oh, but and they we have gotta, to be naturally ripped. We gotta start uh, smoking cigarettes. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. But the jeans have to be naturally ripped, so we should take like one day to like mm-hmm. just fall down on our knees a bunch until they rip. <laughs> oh, nice, <laughs> nice. 
you know, I, I feel like it'd be crazy if a gene company, you know, like mm-hmm. like with the improvement of robots, if they used a robot to, just to fall. fall downstairs a bunch to rip their genes naturally. <laughs> that would be cool. And then they can charge like hundreds of dollars for them because they're, they're genuinely, actually worn. They're genuinely like ripped. You yeah. Know? They're not like a fake ripped where they just kind of like slice it and then distress it by pulling it apart. Right. They're, which they're which actually doesn't falling look like down rip. on rocks. <laughs> yeah. On hard, hard rocks. And it's painful. It's painful, man. Or they just pay, like, carpenters to go to work and not wear knee pads. Okay. So, like, it's caught yeah. on nails and, like, caught on hard wood that they're putting down. Tile. Did, are we going to pay them for their medical bills? No, no. They're already, they they already chose that life of a uh, bad knee. <laughs> oh, okay. That's on them. That, yeah, I forgot about that. That's on the carpentry, in, carpentry industry as a whole. Those are mm-hmm. just bad knee central. Uh, how much do you think you would have to pay someone just to wear jeans to authentically rip them? Like Not that? much. I don't think so. <laughs> I think it could be like a like a few bucks an hour. Yeah, not even an hour. I mean like a couple bucks a day because you're already wearing jeans. You get fresh jeans every time you rip a pair. Yeah. It's, That's it's, such a benefit for the person wearing them, yeah. You always have fresh jeans. And you don't have to use the jeans from home. You keep those pristine, right? Yeah. For when you're going out to TGI Fridays quit. with the wife. You still have to wear those jeans until they rip. With the old ball and chain. You I, know? I think we got we have a misunderstanding here. You have to wear the jeans until they rip. I thought it was like you go to work. Uh, no. Like, like doing. 24-7. Doing, uh, you're a roofer, right? You're wearing these you jeans You do some roofing rip. in the jeans for eight hours? <laughs> yeah, you're in the jeans. Well, actually, you, you work a 16-hour shift as a <laughs> roofer. Yeah. And then you take them off and go to no. TGI Fridays with you the old ball on. and chain. They're on all the time. <laughs> okay. All right. We're paying them for the day. We're getting the whole day. In bed? Hmm? In bed? <laughs> that's a good question. Um, <laughs> there's I don't, not really I don't think there's any any ripping action that's going to be going yeah, on. Not a lot of opportunity. So Unless you're ripping them off. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. 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 With the, the, old, you're the old ball and chain. They're actually, if they're gay, you have to keep it on during sex because you have to go down on your knees to suck penis. Oh, true, true, true. And also ladies have to do that too. Yeah, so uh, I don't know why they call the like wives the old ball and chain, but I feel like um, gay husbands should be called the old ball and ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the old ball and dick wants me home. <laughs> <laughs> the old dick and balls. <laughs> the old dick and ball says I got to be home by nine, boys. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, that just shows how uncreative women are. They could have been doing that the whole time. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> they could have had so many the funny old dick names. and balls wants me home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, usually for, for, for me, it's just, yeah, the old piece of shit, <laughs> the <laughs> idiot, <laughs> the old child support fucking dodging <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That guy that won't pay me my fucking alimony. Yeah. He's, he's at his <laughs> own house. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I'd be in on that. They should get that going. <laughs> like wear those jeans all day. Well, I was thinking more of the dick and balls. We need to go like pivot to the dick and balls. I think we need to get that going, and then we yeah. can go back to the jeans. Okay, so so we're starting with. Well, this isn't really like a, a business no, opportunity but it's or anything. So how are, how are we going to get some something going here? Um, we're we're just going to get some traction online. Um, so let's, let's post a sketch <laughs> with a a girl saying, "Yeah, I got to get home to the old dick and balls." And uh, maybe we that's the sketch is just a bunch of funny names for. We can literally, I'll put on a wig after this, and I'll okay. be by the door ready, ready to go out, and I'll have uh-huh. the wig on, and I'll be like, sorry, ladies, I can get home to the old dick and balls, and then that's the sketch. Yeah. <laughs> um, do we even need the reference of uh, ball and chain? No. Because <laughs> it could be like a, like, guys be like, girls be like type of deal. You oh, know? do you want to be the, like the guys be like? Uh, well, I'm saying it might be like a little bit more uh, concise and clear okay. that way, right? But I feel like we need more than just the old dick and balls. Like we, so, like okay, we need like w- like one or two more examples, right? Mm-hmm. We're sitting. We're we're both leaving. You say, or like we're in conversation. You're like, all right. Well, I got to get back home to the old ball and chain. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, me too. I got to get back home to the old dick and balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that yeah, that's all we need. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. you're gay in that I one. Think it should be and ball you're gay and dick. in real life. Ball and dick would yeah. Ball it, and it dick follows makes the same sense. structure. But like. Uh, the dick and balls is just said more. I feel yeah. like it's it just feels more fun to say. It's more jarring to hear ball and dick because yeah, you hear the ball and you're not expecting the dick part. I'm not expecting the dick part. So I think we go ball and dick. Uh, no matter how many balls I see, <laughs> I'm never expecting the dick part to be there. <laughs> I'm always taken aback by that. <laughs> Especially because oh, it's only oh, a singular dude. ball. <laughs> I just wanted to see the balls. Come on, man. <laughs> Get the dick out of here. I don't want to see it. Oh. Uh, Man, balls are weird. Yeah, we'll film that right after this real quick. 
Yeah, if you want to, yeah. Yeah, that'll be easy. I, I mean, mean, that's going to be a, a short sketch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> but honestly, kind of good. Yeah, yeah. I like I'm, I'm happy with it, yeah. You get home to the old ball and dick. How do I title that? <laughs> um, the old ball and chain, I guess. Yeah, just the old, old ball, ball and chain. chain. Yeah. The old ball and chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I did hear, uh, I got this, I got, I got a little uh, article that came up for me, right? Because oh, uh, I get some, who wrote it? some local news who wrote it? comes up for me. Um, so a lot of local news, some local stuff. I just farted, by the way. Oh, nice. You didn't um, do the count, Mike. Oh, no, wait, wait, it was, was kind of silent. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that second one? Don't. Ew. That was a weird one. Uh, I kind of hiccuped. <laughs> you just hear a little bit of ripple going on there. <laughs> what? <laughs> are, you, are, are, are your poops okay today? No, my asshole was bleeding pretty right? rough this morning. Um, I told you Do about you, that. Yeah, you did. Is that, I was is that from all the picture. beer? I actually don't. I think it might be dehydration and all the beer and like the beer shits, and I was also dehydrated, so my ash was just chafed or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to send you a picture because it was legitimately, like, you know, like you put a paper towel on your hand when you're bleeding, and mm-hmm. it just kind of like it pulls up on the paper towel. Yeah. That's what it did. That's what your asshole was like? Yeah. That's fucked. Usually it's just a speck. That's fucked. This time man. it was like. So how how are you going to like. Map out that shot. Were you were you just gonna give me the toilet paper with yeah, the just blood the toilet on it? paper and the to- the blood and the shit on the toilet paper? <laughs> yeah, you weren't you weren't gonna do like uh, like 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 here here's the here's the toilet paper and then you have like Uh-oh. the shit in the toilet too. No, because I, I feel like you I almost always. I would need a tripod in the in the bathroom. I don't think I can pull that off. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, you have stopped sending me shit pics though. I can start again. I don't. I don't want something. you to. I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, I'll start doing it again. Like, like, was there a reason that you either... Was there a reason you started? No, it was just funny. Was there a reason you stopped? It's just funny. Okay. There's no reason I stopped, but now that you brought it up again, I'll (laughs) definitely start doing it. I mean, you can send me, like, one or two. I'm glad to know that you missed it. I think I'm good. No, but I just thought about it the other day, (laughs) because somebody brought up, like... Uh, like their poop for something and for mm-hmm. some, whatever reason it just hit me i was like man i used to see liam shit all the time yeah i'll start again and it made me realize i was like i'm so thankful for that no, no like no. i didn't i didn't give myself no, no. a chance to be thankful for the things that <laughs> um are no longer in my life right so, so now so, that you've said something i will be starting them up and that's just so your own I, doing. I just made I, I just made it a point to stop and really soak in life and to appreciate not only the things that are there, but the mm. things that aren't. Well, you so know? some good things come back. Um, you know, they, they you know the old saying: <laughs> if they if you love, love me. if you love something, let it go, and if they love you, it'll come back or something like that. You yeah, know? yeah. And it's coming right back at you. Um, I'm glad your shit loves me, bud. Yeah, I'm, I'm real happy about that. I'll write your I'll stockpile shit and just write your name with it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'll just shit in a bucket for like a week and then just write your name, your full name, first, middle, and last name out. In like I, I feel like this is this is more <laughs> something you want to do than a punishment for me. You're gonna shit in a bucket <laughs> for a week. Yeah, so I have enough shit. I feel like you could do one shit and it spread it out. No, I want logs. The logs have to make. Oh, <laughs> dude, that was I was unnecessary. I, mean, the, I wasn't even up. thinking about the. F- fucking logs you're the one that brought it up so okay you have diarrhea 24 7 man you're gonna be dropping logs it's more like once three four times a week (laughs) yeah that's half the week it's okay can you say three or four is i'm gonna average three three and a half it's okay three and a half yeah yeah Yeah, that's exactly half the week yeah all right yeah what were you you trying to talk about before this (laughs) uh okay yeah i saw an article uh it was not about your ship your shit. Um, Who wrote the it article? said, uh, hold on, let me just see here. Uh, multiple suspects are wanted for robbing an elderly woman in Streetsboro grocery store parking lot. Um, and I just I just found that interesting because I, I thought that it really only would have taken one of them. That is a good you know? point. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, what old lady was this that they had to, they had to round up a group of yeah. vigilantes? They're not known for fighting back. No, not ladies. at all. You gotta you gotta push them once, and they'll probably be like, "Yeah, take my purse." Yeah. And how much money do they really have? You know, an old lady. Yeah. I feel like I'm not gonna bank on an old lady just carrying a bunch of cash. Depends on what uh what store it was, because if it was like Target, or I feel like well, okay, you have the so best chances at Target for like chain, like I don't know, like supermarkets, I guess. Well, or whatever. Bro, we have Aldi. Yeah. Giant Eagle. I'm not going Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> 
good store, but I'm not going there to rob somebody, <laughs> no. you know? There's Aldi, Giant Eagle, Walmart, Target. Uh-huh. Those are the only gro- – gro- Target's not even a grocery store. They specifically said grocery store. Well, So I'm yeah, going to assume it's yeah. Giant Eagle because that's the only main grocery store that I would rob somebody at. Aldi is not the one I'm going to. Yeah. So it's not 100% Aldi, Giant it's Eagle. It's got to be Giant Eagle. Not surprised, really. I'm not at all. Yeah. But that Giant Eagle's kind of nice, though. It's a mid – like it's like middle of the road mm. it's not like a whole foods well no, it, it's not in the middle of the road no it's off it's, it's the side <laughs> of the keep road. on hitting your <laughs> don't phone. don't smack me like that <laughs> let me let me readjust that for oh I'm, I'm a little sweaty in there, man. <laughs> i got a little sweat forming around my ears i hate that that's the that's the one best thing and also honestly it might be the, the worst thing about having a haircut is that mm-hmm. it's now like the leather's touching my skin yeah so it does get a little bit more sweaty but i don't get the hair in full, my ear full contact yeah uh-huh do you want would you tickle yourself with uh your own hair no because that like like was it tickling you uh when i had it like super long when it was down to almost my shoulder it uh-huh. would tickle my face oh. that's why i cut it <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> just walking by it would tickle um, my neck and i think it was a spider and I was like, I'm done with oh, this. Yeah. I'm getting a haircut. <laughs> and with your irrational fear of yeah. some something of rust, <laughs> of rust specifically, is going to make me think rusty. <laughs> the spider on your shoulder is going to maybe creep you out. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'd I'd like to rob an old lady, but okay. I don't think we need to do it together. Is the point I'm making? <laughs> well, <laughs> like, yeah, we don't. We'll, we don't need to. <laughs> we'll learn from their mistakes. We'll divide and conquer. Yeah. Divide and hit, conquer. We can hit two old ladies at the same time. That's what I'm saying. That's double the efficiency. Yeah. You hit one old lady, I'm hitting the other old lady. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even two. I might get a BOGO. <laughs> old ladies love going shopping together. Right? Women. Hear me out. Women in general. <laughs> they have buses. Be shopping. Where they bring like retirement home people all together. Oh, yeah? That's like 30 at once. That's 30 people. and we, We're going to hold up a retirement community. <laughs> now, the, the only problem with that is we got to take down the bus driver mm. who's more likely. The, fat and a, woman, a fat well, old lady? Well, fat fifty-year-old lady. I feel like they're they're more likely to be a fighter than the rest of the bus. I don't think know? so. I think they're gonna be like, "Nah, I'm out of here." I don't okay, think they're they, that attached. <laughs> oh, that is tough. I feel like retirement home people are like kind of fucked, dude. Like, I I hear a lot of stories about them just like mistreating and like bullying yeah. these old people, getting fucked too, consensually yeah. and not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's all like awful. And like I, I know we're joking about beating up old people right yeah. now, but them actually just like getting a job so that they can do that every day is <laughs> fucked, man. But here's the thing: if they're already being treated poorly, what's a little bit more on top of that? <laughs> what's a little bit more? A little bit of a pushing around, give me your money type action. We're just making sure that uh, a day out on the town is the same as being in the <laughs> retirement <laughs> home for them. Makes, the making the them feel at home. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, they could just rob the old people too. If the old people they get do. any money in a car, they like do. a card, they're they're just taking that. It's shit. like fucking commissary at a prison. <laughs> That's fucked, man. Yeah, they definitely get robbed. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. So we're just making them feel at home. H- how do you fix that problem? You know, um, kill the old people so they never get to that s- oh. spot. Oh, <laughs> oh! So it's the old people know. that are the problem, huh, Liam? Y- probably. You fucking <laughs> you you ageist piece of shit. What were they wearing? You ageist piece of shit. What were they wearing? Shit. They're probably asking for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Boxy you shirts. You can't just say that to a to a general scenario of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just apply that to anything. You know, just wearing a boxy shirt. You're asking for it. You're trying to make yourself look bigger. You're peacocking out here. <laughs> They're peacocking to make themselves look bigger. They're asking to get fucked up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're showing off like they're all big and tough. <laughs> yeah, they're like you got starch in their shirt. And honestly, that rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, if I can be frail and tiny. Wear a t-shirt or a wife beater. <laughs> God, I I want to make it abundantly clear that I I don't dislike old people that much to like do that. Are you supporting them? Yeah, I would support them over the the goddamn retirement home workers. I'm gonna send your or at this point you. I'm gonna send like, your grandparents a tape of you Singular. saying that you're gonna. Excuse me, run that back. <laughs> run that back. Run that back. I'm going to send a video of you saying that to your grandparent, being like, I'm going to rob old people. Okay. See how he likes it. He he might laugh. I'm not sure. <laughs> he might. You I, show, I can't say, for, I cannot say. For we sure. should have both show our grandparents the podcast, see how they feel about it. I I would not like that at all. But you can pick the I episode. I feel like you, had, you would have a worse time. Yeah, yeah. For, for sure. sure. For sure. Yeah. 
Like, I, yeah. I don't even know how that would go. I, I don't think my parents have even seen it. Have yours? Yeah, your dad saw one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Just the other day, he was like, you know, it's been a while since I've seen what uh you and Liam have been talking about. It's gotten better, that. so. And I was like, you really, I was like, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. He was like, uh, I might. I was like, don't. <laughs> it's gotten better, at least. <laughs> it has, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give us that much. My dad. Not doing too bad. My dad uh, watches hold on. it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I mean, we even have a, 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 a sketch that blew up big time. Yeah. Big time, famous over here. Everybody yeah. knows about us. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody's seen it. Everybody knows it. Everybody. What is it? A six, uh, 600K views? 850. Try again. Ooh, that. 850 and views. That's just on Instagram. Woo! We're talking numbers and, here. And we're about to drop a new sketch that's going to break <laughs> those numbers. <laughs> For sure. Gotta see a little ball and chain. Yeah, I gotta see my ball and dick. Ball and dick. <laughs> uh, that would work for single guys, too. Yeah, yeah. So gay guys Honestly, or I single guys. I could be guys. a gay guy. But then I have to act gay to make it abundantly clear. No, I feel like you saying nah, I'm gonna go wear see the old ball and dick. I'm going to wear the wig. You saying that you're going to see the old ball and dick is I'm clarifier wig. enough. I gotta be. We'll you be don't have to it. stereotype gay people Listen, to make it known that you're gay when you're literally saying you're gonna see the ball and dick. Listen, we're already making leaps and bounds mm-hmm. in, the, in, the, in the 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 name game. Yeah. So we just gotta keep it a woman. It's gotta be a woman. We can't have people guessing. All right. You can't have people guessing that you call so your bo- wife both, ball and dick. We're both wearing uh, wigs, is what you're telling me. No, no, you're not, because you're a straight man. Oh, yeah, because I say the old ball and chain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I I'm the you, lady, because I, I don't want to make you wear a wig again. Um, okay. Because you get tired of wearing the wig, and you have to wear it again next weekend, so. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I get very tired of wearing it. That's, like, that's like my main <laughs> purpose for your sketches yeah. now. I feel well, like, I write them, so I give myself the better part. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. <laughs> if you wrote one, you'd have the better part. <laughs> Well, yeah, but also, like, put yourself in the damn wig. I do sometimes. Put yourself in my shoes. Commercial? Bro, put yourself pregnancy in my commercial? shoes. Put yourself in my shoes. The one man one where I uh, fucked I mean, myself? I mean, yeah, but that, like, I wasn't there for that one, so that you was were your there. only. You filmed it. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. But, but, like, I wasn't in it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But so yeah. it's like, how are you going to give yourself the, the woman part? When when there's only one part, right? Like that's your only <laughs> option, right? Well, you gotta write. Th- the man is always gonna be funnier as you're writing him because it's more your voice, and the woman is there to bounce stuff off of because you're the man. Okay, you th- know what I mean. That just it, doesn't have to be true. It's a natural st- natural stereotype. I could just that's change just an the roles, assumption, but I want to be know? the man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you're just typecasting yourself. Yes, and the type is 100%. in your mind funny and also a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, that, that's your whole personality. To <laughs> funny <me>. man. <laughs> funny and also a man. <laughs> but funny straight comes first, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm so straight. Yeah. Uh, uh, my dad watches NCIS, like, nonstop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's seen every episode probably three times. Okay. He's just studying him. Whole, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's going to be a good detective. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. He's trying to be one of the one of the men in blue, back in the blue. Um, But, uh... <laughs> He's he's seen every every episode three times, and I made the realization that he's like an autistic kid watching SpongeBob. Oh yeah, just like no matter what the episode he watches, is if it's, if it's as if it's new, he always has to see SpongeBob be the hero, see the bad guy go down. <laughs> every time, okay. He's what watching, episodes have you been seeing end. that Sp- SpongeBob is the hero? <laughs> it's just more it was like a comparison. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. But that was I was like, oh, hold on. Yeah, it's like a kid watching like uh, cars over and over again. They know Lightning yeah. McQueen's gonna win, but they're still on the edge of their seat, being like, "Lightning, better fucking speed up." They're like, "It might be different this yeah. time." <laughs> and he, that's how my dad watches NCIS. Nice. Well, yeah. good for him. I'm glad he uh, he's got a show he loves so much. He talks about the people as if they're real. Because I'm moving out to California, and there, he's uh-huh. like, "You might see this character out there." And I'm like, "They're only there during the show, and that's not their real name." <laughs> <laughs> He's basically saying you're gonna see SpongeBob when you get once you get to the ocean. You might, you might see Earl over there. <laughs> you seen this guy Earl? You better watch out for him. <laughs> he <laughs> killed these two people. <laughs> He's a straight murderer. <laughs> I hear they didn't catch him yet, so you better watch out. <laughs> And like half an hour later, he's like, "Don't worry, they got him. They got him. Don't we'll worry. be in jail by the time <laughs> you get there." <laughs> no worries on that end. The Don't boys worry. did it again. <laughs> <laughs> and the, but it was like this one lady. She uh, she hikes through this one park near where you're gonna live, 
and then he mm-hmm. says her character name, and she only lives there in the show. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. not like she actually lives there. But, I mean, but, the park is there. Yeah, yeah, least. it is. So, I mean, take that out yeah. of it, you know? Maybe be a grateful son <laughs> instead of ragging on him, you piece of yeah, shit. I said to his face, I'm like, you're like an autistic kid watching Spongebob. <laughs> you didn't. I didn't. You didn't. Mm-mm. He laughed. Did he? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been calling him gay a lot. I, I, w- I wouldn't have laughed at that one, <laughs> <Really>? personally. <laughs> well, no, I did. It I was like all like, of a sudden. Really? I was like making coffee, uh-huh. and, he, and he was watching the NCIS, and I was like, you know, you're like an autistic. It was just out of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> so you got him off guard. That's did, how you do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's the unexpected. First rule of comedy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Subverting expectations. I've been calling him gay a lot, too, which is fun. Yeah. How's that going? Pretty good. It's fun to call your dad, dad, dad gay. The, how does he feel about it? He just laughs, laughs like <laughs> awkwardly. <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, man. All right. Well, he's called me gay throughout the year, so I figured it's time for payback. Once he's old and frail, I can really dig in on him. Oh, oh, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, you're just like those fucking retirement home yeah. employees, man. Do That's you, you. Don't let me work That's there. That's you in the future. <laughs> don't let me work there. You I'll be dogging those old ladies. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna pray that you're a successful comedian, just so that you don't go and work there. You know, well, it is my backup plan to be in a retirement home working. Oh, so. <laughs> Please no. Uh, I might, I might have to give that a try. You know, the working that one. No, no, oh. I'm, call, I'm calling my dad gay. You should give it a try, just because that would be funny. You just know? if he does like something that's like could be, con- like he's just eating like a pie that's fruity. Just be like, well, are you gay? What are you? You gay? Yeah. Or if a Are you gay, bro? Another fun one is if a Viagra commercial comes on, he's gonna mm-hmm. be like, You need that? <laughs> <laughs> or HIV prep commercial, he'd be like, <sighs> this is for you. <laughs> yeah, you want me to write down that number for you, <laughs> yeah. old man? I got gotcha. you. Oh. Love that for you, man. And then my dad that. responds, Nah, I don't need that. And I'm like, ah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, you're you're walking into it at that yeah, point. Yeah, I am, but I need to let him know that I think his dick doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you need to let it's him know that? It's just a power that? play. you to <laughs> dog him. <laughs> Your cock doesn't work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's genetic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's That would that's be the response. Right, yeah, yeah. At no point are you probably getting out of that, like, on yeah. on top, you know? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Calling your dad's dick small is a hard one, though. I haven't been able to Why? finagle that one out. Because then it's also mine, kind of. Yeah. Like it's at least partially. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what circumstance you would want to throw that in there. <laughs> just do that. Hit him with a little fit index and thumb finger. And be like, <laughs> this you? <laughs> this you, bud? <laughs> this you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I, I guess I took all your big dick genes when I was born. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, um, hey, I'm uh, I'm pretty excited for Cinco de Mayo. Oh yeah, how come? Um, I just feel like it's going to be a good one this year. What are you looking forward to most? Um, well, first of all, I'm going to figure out what the hell I'm celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to figure out what day it is. First. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think don't know it's, what day um, it lands on this year. <laughs> it's the seventh or eighth of May, I think. I think it's a floating holiday, so you might want to double check on that one. Yeah, it, it depends on the day of the week for yeah. sure. I think um, it's like the second Tuesday of every every May. The third Tuesday of uh, it's Fat Tuesday, right? It's the fat one. It's the big one. <laughs> no, usually they aren't fat. Oh, okay. I thought they were. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so first of all, I'm going to figure out what, what I'm celebrating exactly, because I'm not, I'm not quite sure, and I do remember we would have a little, like, Cinco de Mayo, like, oh, and, and like, grade school, we'd be like, oh, it's Cinco de Mayo, like, yeah, woo. maybe, then there maybe was like, a little party at the end of the day, something like that, but I, I don't think I ever even asked. Do you, do you legitimately don't know what it's about? Uh, what is it about? It's is a it? Mexican independence It's day. independence? Okay. Uh, that was my guess, but I think it's funnier, uh, if I don't yeah, know. I was, you know? I was just um, making sure you actually knew. What? What? You guys like May fifth? <laughs> it comes every year. <laughs> what do you? What are you getting so hyped up about? It's huh? so special, man. You guys are still owe us money for that wall. <laughs> <laughs> you guys owe us the money. Um, yeah. So I mean, what do people even, even do on Cinco de Mayo? Drink a just margaritas. Just drink. Eat tacos. That's what we just do in America. Drink, and, uh, it honestly is better to celebrate in America than it is Mexico, probably. Probably. <laughs> Because I feel like 
in Mexico, it's going to be like more authentic, and you're actually yeah. going to be like, man, what a good really, day. Let's let's look at some of the history of. Uh, what are you guys saying? Sinking the Bible. <laughs> 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 Dude, it'd be so much worse <laughs> to celebrate in Mexico. I can't understand <laughs> you. <laughs> What are you God saying damn. right now? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I've taken a, a couple of Spanish classes. I, I don't think I'm any better off. Can you say one sentence? Uh, I'm gonna try to guess what you're saying. Yeah, uh, right now? No, I couldn't even. <laughs> I couldn't even think of one right now. <laughs> you know, do a lingo like, failed you? <laughs> like, like I got some basic stuff, but at no point was I prepped to like form the sentences. It's really just like, hey, yeah. look at this sentence and like conjugate this verb. Mm-hmm. You know. You never had to, like, speak a speech in it? I've had to say a couple of things here and there, you know? Do you know one line from that speech or anything? No. What's your favorite color in Spanish? Rojo. Red? Yeah. Yeah. What's about... uh, What about uh, Amarillo? Maroon? Uh, No. Fucking idiot, dude. Rouge? No, dude. It's yellow. It's yellow, dude. Azul? What's black and... Negro? (laughs) (laughs) What's white? Um, Blanco. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I had to think about that one. Blue. Yeah, I said Azul already. Shit. Green. Okay, th- this is not. It's Verde, but this is not. <laughs> in, uh, this is not enjoyable. Salsa Verde. That's what yeah. Salsa Verde means. Dude, Salsa Verde. <gasps> salsa Verde. I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the green salsa. Uh, what's a? What's a pink? Um, uh, I don't. Is know. it just Blanco no. Rouge? I think it's like Rosa or something. Mm. But it's prettier than you, pink. you fuck with green salsa? <laughs> I do every now and then, yeah. I like chiles. Mm. Poblanos. Good country. Yeah. <laughs> Good country. Are, are those the like cheese stuffed ones? Uh, they can be. They can be stuffed with different things. You can put them in eggs. You can just kind of like cut them up. Put them in eggs with IHOP. Uh-huh. They have a little good, little good uh, poblano omelet. Yeah, yeah. You can get uh, stuffed poblanos with like beef. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, what are they called when they're stuffed though? Stuffed poblano is what I say. <laughs> no, in Mex in Spanish. <laughs> well, the places I, I go, I they did speak almost both. say in Mexican. <laughs> I, was, I only I was go close, to places man. where they speak both languages. Okay, because I only know one of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One thing I've always wanted to do is like learn Mandarin and then go to a Chinese restaurant and mm-hmm. like see what they hear what they're saying about me. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I feel like that that might be the best part of speaking other languages. Yeah. It's not actually interacting with the people; it's just knowing what they're saying. Yeah, <laughs> never, never let them know that you speak Mandarin. No, never. Um, you know, the funny thing is, uh, at work, you know, mm. l- last summer we had some Guatemalans that came and worked for us. So Ooh, it was a group of like four C, guys. See, yeah, yeah, um, and like I don't know what kind of work like thing they had going on, but like whatever work permit they had to like like. I don't know. Stay here. Um, so it was like four guys. They stayed for like a summer. They did, they did a bunch of like like work on the lawn and stuff like that. Like I don't know, like like outside work, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they went back. But this summer, we're getting a new set of Guatemalans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And this time, they're all women, and we're going to have them do laundry. <laughs> I think I'm going to call ICE on the place you work. <laughs> you no, know. It, it's apparently all legal. I didn't check. I just I just took my boss's word it's for it. It's a student it. exchange program? Pretty they, much. They just have them come up and work? That's uh, th- They're just here to work. <laughs> like, these motherfuckers are living, like, like, on property. That's funny. Yeah. What, like the shed or something? What? No, they're not, no, they're no. not giving up hotel rooms for this. <laughs> well, it, not not hotel rooms, but I mean they they're like giving them like fully furnished like rooms and everything, oh, and like bad. they're pretty nice. Okay. Because um, like there, there's like a whole, whole community there, you know. You guys get this box truck for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can set up a tent in the woods. Yeah, we don't um, really care what you do in this area, but never come on the premises unless you're working. Like, <laughs> We don't want to see you. <laughs> we do not want to. Do not let the client see. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wear a mask. Um. I just thought it was very funny that, like, it's all women this time, and we're just like, yeah, we're gonna have them work in the laundry room. Yeah, that is very funny. Like, I'd put them out. Really, I'd put them out in the fields. I would too. A little little uh, quality probably, in there. Uh, they probably do some good works. Some good work. You probably. Know? You just ask them to. I don't know. To plant some. Uh, plant some grass over there. And yeah. they'd be like, see. 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 <laughs> grass, verde, verde, <laughs> grass. Verde. Let's see. All right. Yeah. That's uh, so a big fan of Guatemalans. Yeah, me too. 
That's been mm-hmm. the conclusion of episode 47 of the Shower Party Podcast. Yeah. Hey, yeah. tell a friend that you're having a good time listening to this hot, hot new podcast called tell Shower it. Party. Tell them it's brand new. Um, it's brand we, new. <laughs> it brand new just started uh, second weekend. Yeah. Um, episode 47. Yeah, yeah. We, we just numbered them incorrectly. You need to start at 47 and then go from there. Yeah, yeah. So this is technically number one. Um, it, all this time, it's this has been one session. That we've been trying to just get one good hour out of. Yeah. And so, yeah, almost at two days. Two <laughs> days one, worth of recording. One recording session. Yeah. I brought, I basically moved here just to do a bunch of changes. We just talked for two, for almost yeah. a year fully. Yeah, for a year? Yeah. 48 <laughs> hours. Yeah, we got 48 hours out of a, a whole year of talking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was 48 hours was an entire year. I thought that's, that's what you were saying. No, we got one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. A year's like, I don't know, 37. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll see you. See you. Have, have a good week.